These are assembly instructions for my retro oven. These two pieces with the little rectangles that jet out are the side pieces. I'm just folding down and burnishing the score lines at one side and at the top for both pieces. And then I have my bottom piece. I'm just folding down on the score lines on all four sides. And this is my back piece, and it's just a plain rectangle, no score lines to it. This is my stove top and the part that jets upwards. I'm going to fold down on all those horizontal score lines. And then I'm folding down on the score lines for the tabs on each side. I have that one tab at the bottom of that grouping. I have the tabs at the very bottom of my piece and that score line at the bottom as well. I have the right side of my back piece facing upward and the right side of my stove top also facing upwards. So I've got my grouping of three tabs and then I have my long tab. I'm just putting glue on the long tab and I'm just gluing it down to that tab. I want the cut piece of my back piece to be up against the score line of that tab. And I'm going to work on the tabs that are on each side. Just putting glue on that middle tab this is my stove top and this is the back of my oven and I'm bringing the side that is the back of my oven bringing it over and forming a corner I'm gluing that rectangle down to the adjacent tab and that's creating my little corner like so I'm going to do that on the other side as well I'm putting glue on that trapeze shape and I'm bringing my rectangle over like so now I'm putting glue all over that rectangle that I just glued down. And I'm matching that adjacent rectangle to it. So I have this tab at the bottom. I'm just going to fold it outwards for now. I'm going to flip my piece over, doing the same thing, putting glue all over that rectangle. And just covering it with that other rectangle. So now the piece that has the two tabs at the end, I'm just folding that upwards like so. So next I have my side pieces. I'm just putting glue along this tab. So with that panel that has the tabs on the bottom, I'm just gluing this piece right above that score line. And the cut edge of my stovetop piece has to be right at the score line for my side panel. I'm going to do that for the other side panel as well. I'm just putting glue on this tab and I'm just gluing it down. The cut edge of my stove top is right against the score line of my tab. So, so next I'm folding those side panels down and I've got these tabs on either side. I'm going to put glue on those tabs and at the same time I'm putting glue on the tab that's at the top like so. And I'm just going to Lower that. I'm pressing down on that tab right against the side. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm also put, putting glue on that side rectangle and just covering that up so that it's a nice, even join, like so. So I'm gonna do that with the other side as well. Putting glue on that tab, and I'm putting glue on the side tab as well. I'm making sure that the edges and the bottom are even, and I'm putting glue on this rectangle and gluing it to the side. Pressing down on that little tab inside as well. Just glues right into place. I have three decorative panels that are the same height and then the square one is going to go on the bottom. So I'm putting, I've put glue on the side of one of these panels and I'm gluing it to the inside of my oven. It's a little tiny border all the way around. I'm going to do that with the other side as well. And then I have my bottom piece with its decorative layer. I'm going to glue the decorative layer in. And I'm just going to put glue on one of the tabs from my bottom. I'm just gluing that tab to the bottom of my oven piece. So on that little flap that comes down, I'm just putting glue on the tabs that are on each side. And I'm just joining up the sides like so. So next I have one of the decorative pieces, so this one has little round score lines on it. Two decorative strips on the top and on the bottom of that piece. 
Then I have these little circles that I've cut out of silver. And I have some white vinyl circles that I'm just attempting to adhere to the center of each one of those five. So once the white vinyl is applied, I'm just gluing those circles within the score lines that are on my base. So my little orange circle of detail on my stove. Well, this piece gets adhered to the panel that's at the front of my stove. And then I have the decorative piece that goes inside. Then I have a piece of silver cardstock. Now this silver cardstock um, is very flimsy. Plus I've cut out a whole bunch of rectangles from it. So it's really flimsy at this point. So if you, if you can cut this out of craft board instead, you probably wouldn't need this piece. But this is a piece of craft board just to reinforce. I'm just folding down on the two score lines at each end of this shape. Flipping my piece upside down and I'm just going to glue this piece underneath. So I'm just going to put glue on the two tabs on the bottom of my oven. I'm bringing up the top and just gluing those tabs to either side. I'm just going in with my bone folder and spreading out that glue. And then I'm putting glue on both sides of my silver insert. I'm lowering it down into my oven. It's all the way at the bottom and I'm just adhering it to both sides. I'm going in with my bone folder and then I'm just spreading my glue against those sides. Then I have my oven door. I'm flipping this piece around so the good side is on the mat. I'm putting double-sided tape all around that opening. I'm removing the backing from my double-sided tape and I'm just placing my acetate over the opening. So I'm putting glue all over except for the acetate and the tabs. And I'm just placing this so the opening for the window are layered on top of one another exactly. So next I have this curved decorative layer that I'm going to glue on to that little part that juts up from my stove. So I have some black foil craft. The edges of it are a little bit brown because the underside is brown. Just with a plain marker and just going around and coloring in the edges. And then I cut several layers of cardstock just to make this a little bit thicker because I wanted a nice substantial piece for the top of my stove. So I want to make sure that they're stacked up on top of one another identically. So I glued all my layers together so, and I've cut this out of a piece of black cardstock and it's kind of a lighter black. It's still black but it has sort of a different tone to it. So I'm just putting glue on the underside of my stove. I'm trying to center it as much as possible and then I'm just gluing the whole thing to the top of my stove. And then I have these vinyl trim pieces for the front of my door. I'm using Cricut transfer tape to apply and it's been used a few times so it's not very sticky anymore so it's not going to rip my cardstock. All right so next I'm going to do the handle. The longest one has score lines. I'm just folding down on those score lines and then I'm putting a little bit of glue from the first score line to the end of my piece. And I'm going to take my fold cardstock and I'm making sure that the foiled side is facing on the inside. So I'm gluing foil to foil. I'm doing that on the other end too. Glue from the score line to the end and just joining those pieces together. And then I'm taking my oven piece and I want to glue my handle just over my window for my oven. So I'm just putting glue all over the back of the piece. I'm doing my best to center this piece. Then I have an extra trim piece, so it's a very thin piece of cardstock. I'm just centering it as best I can. And then I have my little tea towel. I fold it in half and put a little bit of foam tape on the inside. Hang it on my handle. I have two sets of on mitts. I'm just gluing them together. I'm going to install my door. I have the tab that's on the bottom of my oven. I'm just putting glue all over that tab. I'm taking my door piece and I'm just gluing it so that the bottom of my door is right at that score line and it's flush on both sides. Then I have these tabs on either side. So I just have these Velcro dots. So they're Velcro, but they have adhesive on them. And these measure 
three eighths of an inch. I've got my two layers of Velcro. The two dots are Velcroed together. So I'm applying the adhesive to those tabs on my oven. And now I'm going to remove the protective film from the adhesive on the other half of the Velcro dot. And then close my oven door. So that helps me place my Velcro dot exactly where it needs to be so that my oven is closed. Opening up my Velcro, and I'm just applying a little bit of pressure just to make sure that Velcro sticks. And so, there's my little retro oven.